Hey everyone, I'm really excited today. I'm here to show you one of the most awesome DOS games that you probably never played. I, I really enjoy exposing uh, underdogs, little known DOS games like this, and you're in for a treat today. I, I love this game. This game is so awesome and hardly anybody I know has played it. It's called Inanimate Racer. And uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and run the game. Yeah. Choose racer. You know what? For some reason, um, sometimes in DOSBox, it seems difficult to get the uh, the sound to work correctly in this game, which is a shame because sound is like half the appeal of the entire game. Really, it's uh, if if you're playing without sound, you're missing out on a big part of the experience. Uh, they're so modest in this game; they don't even print the the company name. But I believe this is a joint production between. Uh, Ericsoft Technologies and Watermelon Productions. Yeah, a gentleman calling himself Mr. Ericsser uh, wrote this game, I believe. Anyway, yeah, well, the game asks, why raise inanimate objects? I guess that's kind of a rhetorical question because it's obvious. I mean, why wouldn't you? So let's pick a, an inanimate object. Let's go ahead and uh, you can pick one of these objects. I guess we can start with the teddy bear. I mean, it seems like a good choice, right? So let's go ahead and go with the teddy bear. Start your, uh, well, Go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Boy. Look at the teddy bear. Go. Yeah. 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 Maybe you'll. Uh, maybe you'll get there eventually. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm putting my money on the teddy bear. Tie race over. Awesome. It was a tie. Racer. Oh man, what a close race that was. Oh, oh man, I'm so excited. Okay, let's let's go and do these in order. We can go ahead and do the the toaster next. Let's see how the toaster works out. Start your. Uh. Well. Go. Look at it go. Look at the toaster go. Oh, that's so awesome! Can you just feel the excitement in the air? It's almost electrical. Almost, because the toaster's not plugged tie in. Race over. Another tie! Can racer. you believe how just how tight this racing action is? I mean, it's it's just like, we, we get it. Another tie! Alright, uh, moving on. I don't, I don't even know what this thing is. It's like a pineapple head? Or... I, maybe it's like a chia pet? I think it's maybe it's supposed to be kind of like a chia pet or something with the green stuff growing out of it. I don't know. Uh, I think that might be just a little too much excitement for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, this upside down. Look at this upside down red toy car. That's that's awesome. i got to go with this. Start your... Uh, well, go. See, see, the awesome thing about this car is it doesn't even have an engine, so you don't even need to start the engine. You just race. You see that? Do you see that car in all its glory? Look at that beautiful, bright red tie car. Race over. Another tie. Racer. See, I, I, I just... Words can't capture the the awesomeness of this, the, the sheer excitement that you get from this game. I mean, it's like, the racing is so tight. It, the, the, the races are always so close that you get a tie every time. It's just like, what, what other racing game, honestly, can give you that kind of experience? I don't know of one, honestly. I do not know of another racing game which can so reliably give you the sheer thrill of a tie every time. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go with the CD. Why not? Start your, uh, well, go. Okay, let's see what happens here. I'm betting on the CD. Tie, race over, oh, choose, boy. racer. Awesome, another tie. All right. Okay, folks, I think, uh... I think that'll do for now, um, but I, th I think you get the idea. Yeah, this is just, uh, yeah, there, there's no other ga racing game that I've ever seen that um, that just, just captures the raw excitement of racing inanimate objects, and I, I really, uh, I'm really glad that I have this, that I found this game. Thank you very much, Mr. Eric, sir, for making this game. It's one of my favorite DOS games of all time, and yeah, I, I just love it. And, and one thing I like about this game is that, as you've probably noticed, it doesn't take very long to play. So sometimes, you know, if you have five minutes to kill or something, you'll just, uh, you know, you can start this game. And, you know, if you want real excitement, oh boy, you go for that Chia head or something and, you know, get that pineapple head or whatever it is on the road. And I just, you know, whenever I have a few spare minutes, I'll just, you know, fire up this game and race that pineapple head. And, oh man, I'll just, I'll just watch that, that head on the track and I'll just... Shiz in my pants. Anyway. Yeah, so, um... <clears throat> I guess that's all. I think uh, I think I'm done showing you the uh, the game. Oh, you can also press Escape to exit. Oh, I have the right window selected. There we go. All right. I think that's all. All right. Well, that was fun. Thank you very much for watching 
me uh, show you Inanimate Racer. I hope you've enjoyed watching this game as much as I've enjoyed playing it. And, uh, and I did. Believe me, I did. Alright, happy April Fool's Day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye for now.